All right, lesson 115, renaming fractions. So remember that when we multiply a fraction by a fraction name for one, we always get an equivalent fraction. Like when we have one half and we're multiplying it by two over two, that two over two is like a fraction of one. And we always get an equivalent fraction. Two is half of four, just like we had named one half. So when we multiply fractions, we get equivalent fractions. So if we were to multiply uh, one half by three over three, you'd get three six. Sometimes you have to choose a particular multiplier that is equal to one. So for example, example number one, they want you to find an equivalent fraction for one fourth, but the denominator is going to be 12. So the question states, find the equivalent fraction for one fourth whose denominator is 12. So they right now for sure want your denominator and your answer to be 12. Okay. And so we have to think what number can we multiply both top and bottom to get to equal to 12. Four times what number equals 12? And that's when you're picking the multiplier. So we're actually going to think, okay, four times what number gets you to 12? Well, three. And remember, whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So I have to multiply the top by three as well. So we already know that four times three is 12. Now I need to finish the top. One times three is three. So we're re renaming fractions to make equivalent fractions. Instead of saying one fourth, we're getting three twelfths. Now we've also done it to the point where we've had maybe this fraction and we have to reduce. So instead of multiplying by three over three to reduce this fraction, we can always go back and divide by three and you'd get your smaller fraction of one fourth. Okay, but here we're renaming it saying one fourth is equivalent to three twelfths. Okay, so Example number 12, it says we're going to complete the equivalent fraction. It gives us two thirds and it says question mark over 15. Okay, there's our problem. I know it's kind of hard to see. It says two thirds is equivalent to what number over 15? So the denominator is changed from 3 to 15. We have to think. Well, what was multiplied times three to get to 15? So that's when you have to know your multiplication and your factors, okay? So I think, okay, two thirds times what number gets me to 15 and what's up here? Well, I know three times five is 15. So I multiply my top and my bottom by five. Three times five is 15. Two times five is 10. Okay, so that missing number was 10. This is your answer. Okay, so I will do lesson practice A with you guys and then I want you to complete the rest and then turn that in on Seesaw. Okay, so lesson practice A, it says complete each equivalent fraction. This is where your multiplication really comes into play. We have 1 fourth is equal to what over 12? This is kind of like the one we did up there. Four times what number got me to 12? Well, I know four times three, so I'm gonna multiply both the top and the bottom by three. One times three is three. This is my remaining fraction, okay? Pretty simple. Uh, you have until letter F, and you could squeeze them all on the front. I may have put some on the back, um, but actually I don't think I did. It does go till F, so why don't you squeeze in letter F down here. Shouldn't take up too much room. And then I want you to go ahead and take a picture of your lesson practice and please get that posted underneath the right activity. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.